Practical tutorial number 10. Demonstrate protocols prior to transmission. This is competency 10. Let's have a look at the competency. Number 10. Demonstrate the protocols, that is what you have to do, the procedure <coughs> required prior to commencing transmitting. The middle column tells you how the assessor can get you to do this. The candidate is provided with a tuned, ready to use amateur radio station on HF and VHF or UHF. So just HF and VHF or HF and UHF. The hardest part is HF and that's what we'll focus on here. No tuning or adjustments are necessary. The candidate to demonstrate the requirement to listen on the frequency prior to transmission and may include increasing the receiver gain or opening the mute for weak signal detection. This task should be repeated up to three times and may be incorporated in other elements of the competency. <coughs> Why number 10 is so important is because later on in, in the fourth coming competencies, you're going to have to do other things with the transceiver. For example, you're going to have to transmit or you might have to change frequency. Before you do any of the other competencies on air with the radio, you must always do competency number 10. Even if you're not doing competency 10, you must do number 10. I'll discuss that with you further when we cover those competencies that require you to transmit. Let's see what you have to do in competency 10. Demonstrate the requirement to listen on a frequency prior to transmission and adjustment of the receiver sensitivity as appropriate. It's really not too hard, but you must remember to do it every time. If you're going to measure your SWR, for example, that means you're going to transmit, so you would have to redo competency 10 as part of the competency to measure SWR. Let's have a look what you would do prior to transmission. For competency number 10, protocols prior to transmission, the assessor will have an amateur radio station all set up and connected, the SWR will be okay, the power will be okay, everything is fine, you just have to demonstrate the protocols before making a transmission. Let's presume this is the amateur transceiver and the assessors put it on 14.195 megahertz for you. So that's a 20 meter amateur band. We don't need to use the VFO. The VFO is what we change frequency with. I've labeled it just to help you. If you don't know where the VFO or any control is on a radio, ask the assessor where the VFO is or the, any other control. I've only marked the VFO because we're going to have to be using it later and that's how we change frequencies. So the correct procedure, if we wanted to transmit on 14.195.7 MHz, is that we would turn the radio on, we would go to the frequency we want, the assessor will do that, and then in order to make sure there's no one using that frequency, we should make two adjustments to the radio. We should turn the volume, the audio frequency gain, that's the volume, up as high as possible. Within limits, of course, if it starts to be too loud, don't turn it up too high, you'll blow the speakers. But turn the volume up, because if the volume is turned down, you're not going to hear anything, and you're not going to hear if the frequency is in use. So turn the volume up, the AF gain control is the proper name for it, and also turn the RF gain control up. And the RF gain control on this radio is the outer ring, and the AF gain is the inner ring. So you would turn both of those in a clockwise direction and then the radio receiver would make an awful lot of noise because you've got maximum sensitivity with the RF gain turned up, you've got high volume with the AF gain turned up and you then listen to see if the frequency is in use. And if you're unsure if the frequency is in use, you would then pick up the microphone and you would use your call sign or a call sign that the assessor has given to you let's say the call sign is VK4FABC, you would then pick up the microphone, so you've listened, 
you've turned the AF gain fully up, you've turned the RF gain fully up, you're not 100% sure if the frequency is in use, so you make a transmission. This is VK4FABC. Is this frequency in use? Over. You might do that again, and if you don't get any replies, then you can rest assured that you've done all you can, all you can, to make sure the frequency is in use, is not in use, and you can go ahead and transmit, and that will complete competency number ten. Summary: Turn the AF gain, the volume control, fully up. Turn the RF gain fully up. Listen for five seconds to see if you can hear anything. If you can, you're not going to transmit there. If you're still not sure that the frequency is not in use, pick up the microphone, press the push to talk on the microphone and state, this is VK4FABC, is this frequency in use? Over. Now you might say it a little differently, it doesn't matter. You might say this is VK4FABC, is this frequency clear? It doesn't really matter. As long as you announce your call sign and as long as you ask, is the frequency in use, you will pass competency 10. And don't forget the controls on the receiver for maximum volume and maximum receiver sensitivity. That's it for competency 10.